Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing Violet Box um, June Box which was their birthday box. Yay! Happy first birthday Violet Box. Um, unfortunately, I actually did make a video of um, Violet Box but unfortunately what happened was I had a friend come over when I was recording this then I wasn't able to finish recording it I left the laptop on and then I've been really really busy and then I've come back to my laptop I need to find out that I accidentally forgot to save it I've tried making um, the video again and there's been a few problems that have happened but I finally hopefully fingers crossed this is the last time I'm gonna be um, doing the unboxing so unfortunately I've already seen what's on this unfortunately it's a reaction of real unboxing but let's see let's let's go so the first thing because it was their birthday they gave us a bonus thing in our box um and we got a makeup bag and this makeup bag is beautiful i love the colors to it and i love how it has two pockets one and two pockets i'm in love with it um it is so much nicer it's like a really good quality one doesn't smell as plasticky as the last tablet one I'm in love with this this outranks the one that they try to do with with um, last tablet so I'm really I, like when I first heard they were gonna give a beauty beauty bag instead of a box I was like oh yeah here we go it's gonna have like clear plastic it's gonna say happy birthday or some sh stupid things like that but they didn't they gave us an actual proper makeup case so I'm really happy with that. I'm, I'm thinking of making this into my toiletry bag. I'm not sure just yet. See what I can do with it. So anyway, it's made by Caddy. Caddy's cosmetic pouch, it's called. Um, and it actually retails for $26. And the thing with that is with the, it's, they're not lying because a few people have actually gone online, even to discount online stuff. And the cheapest we found it, I think, was twenty-two dollars. So, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So they're not lying how much this costs. Um, even if it costs the cheapest twenty-two dollars to them, that's all right. Only because we pay twenty-two dollars for the for our violet box. I'm pretty sure it's twenty-two dollars. So I'll put down the bottom of here how much it costs, reference, how to sign up, etc. But beautiful, beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm in love. So let's stop raving about that. The next thing that came, which was poking its little head out from here, from the little bag, is a H GHD Star Straight and Tame Cream. Beautiful packaging. The thing is, I opened it up and I wanted to, even though it does smell like um, hair product, I wanted to look at the consistency for you guys. My friend came over and what happened was I tried doing it in front of the camera and I did it about 20 times squirting nothing has come out of it my friend came over we both each had a go about 20 20 30 times each and the product's still not coming out and I'll show you but you can see that nothing has come out you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it but nothing's coming out so I'm trying to I'll put it on my try to put it on my hand nothing so that's obviously been more now 20 times so it's done heat so it's not as if I haven't done haven't tried and tried and tried. I don't want to open it up. I feel like I'm gonna stuff it up. The, uh, I've turned this little knob, I've turned it the other way, just in case there was like an open close nozzle and nothing. Nothing has happened, so I'm so upset about this. I want to use it because I have a hair straightener and I can't use my GHD styler. Um it doesn't say how many grams. Oh, yes, it does. This is a 120 milligrams bottle. So I'll try it again near the end of the thing. Maybe, hopefully, by the end of the video or work. If not, I'm so upset. Help me, people. I'll have to email Violet Box about this. Um, but anyway, the H uh, GHD Straight and Tame Cream. And you can obviously see I, I need it. My hair is so not tamed. I so need like a. A, a, one of those lion whips to tame it. No, not really, but yeah. Um, I really need it so I can straighten my hair. Um, this retails 100. So this is a full size. It's 120 mils, and it actually retails for 24. dollars So that's there, just with the um cosmetic bag and with the 
GHD straightening cream. It's a cream. It's not a hairspray. It's a cream. It comes to a total of, of double of what. Um, Violet Box actually is worth what we pay for. So that's really awesome. So it's already $44 there. Awesome. And we still got another four products to go. So another thing which I saw which I loved um, was the Appel's Apothecary and Lab Black Shampoo. And this one is 60 mils. And then we've got the um, Appel's Tamanu Conditioner. And both of them, I have the sm same um, smells. It has rosemary, la lang lang, and lavender. Beautiful. I actually don't want to use them. I'm actually, I've actually now put them next to just for the video. I put everything back in the bag, but I actually have it next to my bed now. And when I'm feeling upset, I need um, a picker upper. Oh, just before I go to sleep, I smell it. It is so beautiful. I can smell the lavender. It makes me really relax. I don't really want to use them because I love them too much. Um, I the smell of them beautiful, but in all honesty, I wouldn't want it in um my makeup. Uh, sorry, in, um, for my shampooing, only because I feel like I'll I'll come out smelling like um lavender, like. Essence oils, and I don't want to smell like an essence oil, even though I love smelling them and stuff. I rather have them in my candles and stuff, but I love these, so don't get me wrong. It's not because maybe I should try it. I don't know. What do you guys tell me? Tell me, guys, what do you think? Have you guys tried tried them yet? Um, do you smell like an essence oil um, representative kind of thing? Let me know what you, th you think you smell like. Oh no. I dropped it on the floor. I pick it up afterwards. So anyway, um, the price for them is for the shampoo, um, 150 mils comes to eighteen dollars ninety five, and for a larger size, it's forty four ninety five. So it's the same for the conditioner. So one hundred fifty mils is eighteen ninety five, and the five hundred mil is forty four ninety five. Just to let you know. So yeah. So that's the first zipper. So it all came. All all the stuff came in in here. So that's pretty cool. And I even like that little o-ring. It doesn't look like and it's a sturdy um, it's sturdy zippers. They're not um zippers that are flimsy and they're gonna break anytime soon. You can you can tell straight away when it's a good quality product. Anyway, the next thing that came in here is in the second pouch. Ah! I'm dropping things. No! No, 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 no! Okay, with the second pouch, it actually comes with um, places to put um, travel brushes for your makeup and stuff and it actually came inside of there it came with a Shella I think it was Shella let's have a look yeah a Shella brow pencil which retails for twenty one ninety five. I haven't opened it up yet it's actually a lot smaller than other um, eyeliners and um, uh, eyebrow pencils that I've received but hey Let's. I'll, I'll have a go. I'll try it out. Um, the brow pencil is a light brown pencil, so that's good because um, you can see maybe not with the ooh, my makeup's not done properly. Anyway, um, I've smudged my makeup. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, with the um, eyebrow pencil, um, I'm actually a light brown, not a dark or anything. I've tried dark ones before and hasn't really worked on me, so. I'll see what happens with that. Hmm. Anyway, so that's what's going on with that one. So that's already sixty-eight, sixty-nine. That's thirty dollars, not including the um the Appel's um formulas. So sixty mils plus sixty mils, one hundred twenty. So let's say fifteen dollars, um, roughly there as well. So. 40, 60, that's already 70, 75, 75 dollars worth of products already. That's pretty awesome. And we've still got two more things to go. The next thing which I really loved was the nail polishes. And it's actually two nail polishes. And this are, these are the full size. They look pretty small, but it is a big size. It is the normal size. And it's called, and it says Strange Beautiful on it. And this one, Strange Beautiful nail polishes, they retail for 22 dollars. So that's already $95, $97 worth of product there. I really like it because it's a little container 
Because I was thinking, how the heck are you meant to get the nail polish out, like, um, undo it and put it back in? It's actually just a little box, which fits the size of the nail polish lids in there. And then you can take it off. So you can mix and match if they have other colours. Really, I, I, unfortunately, I'm not really allowed to wear nail polishes and, and stuff because of my work, of what I did to my mum in hospitality. But I'm actually I'm doing a course right now, doing aged care. And even in aged care, I'm not allowed to wear nail polish and stuff. So anyway, that is the colour. I don't know. That, that's the brush with the colour. It's really beautiful. I really love it. As I said, I would, I, if if I could, I would try them on, but I'm not allowed to. Um, they do smell like normal nail polishes, just in case people are wondering. This is a really nice red. It's actually a nice orangey kind of red. Sorry, no. Oh, very beautiful. Very beautiful. I'm, I'm in love with these. Um, so I don't know if I'll actually will keep them or if I'll give them away or haven't decided what I'll do with them just yet. And then the final product is uh, the uh, Bioderma Pore Refiner. And it's a sample, it's a 15 mil sample. And that one, normally for a 30 mil sample, comes to $30.95. So that's fifteen fifteen dollars worth right here as well. Fifteen dollars worth. So this is more than a hundred dollars worth of products in this bag alone, which is pretty awesome. For only paying twenty two dollars, that's really, really good. Plus I like how like I can just leave all of these little all these products in there and add a few more products into my thing minus the GHD. Put heaps of products in there. So I can go travelling and you know. So that's really, really good. I'm really um, happy with it overall. I'm really happy with Violet Box. I stick with Violet Box and I've got a few other um, beauty boxes. But if I had to choose only two beauty boxes that I could keep with, I'll only stay with Violet Box and Lip Factory. So I apologise again for how late this was. I have been really busy. Um, I work a bit at the moment, um, having a few problems. I am struggling as well with my mental health um, a lot because I'm taking it. At the moment, I'm not physically. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll put up a post about it. So if, if you guys really want to know what's going on in my life, um, just watch for the next uh, video. I will pull, put up one. Um, so, again, I apologize for how late this is. Um, I would definitely rec recommend Violet Box as one of the, um, the boxes. Um, definitely go for it. Um, also, if you're wondering what I'm wearing, I'll write it down the bottom. I'm not putting any foundation or anything on. This is my natural skin color. All I've done is put lip lipstick, um, blush, and some purple eyeshadow on. And that's about it. So, anyway, I'll put it all down the bot bottom. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you in my next video, which should be up after this one. Thank you all. Bye.